It's uh, about aliens and sex chats and right path. Okay. You're feeling it. It's uh, about freedom and feeling yourself and whatever you want to be at that moment. Yes. Yeah. You read the mind. Thanks. Thanks. She got her message. I don't think there needs to strike a balance. I think the message is stronger with passion. Yeah. I think that the costumes are a part of the message, whatever the message is. It's just part of the world. It's part of the world. It's part of the express yeah expression and the world that we create and the world that we invite people into we show up to shows and people wear clothes that we wear and it's you know an invitation to create something greater than life than, itself. than life itself or our physical being yeah, and expand it to other physical beings outcasts and some others but there's there's too many too many to list it met through a simple forum it was a forum for misfits that wanted an outlet of creativity and then we were like, here we are. <laughs> and, freedom of and freedom, I think, of expression to dress however you want to be and be yourself fully. And without any judgment um, and understanding that there isn't any sort of judgment at the end of the day either. Where we come from, um, all genders were invited to be as sexual or as free as they were, and it had nothing to do with their value as a person. So we wanted to bring those lessons to, to this planet. But also understand that you understand other people and what they want and what you're doing and the freedom of, and the freedom, but also the respect of other people. Yeah, respect. We, yeah, it is true. It's true. We're speaking from the heart. It's. I think we do have a powerful message, and I think that the more people are exposed to women being silly or people being silly and beautiful and unabashedly sexy without it being um, any kind of apologetic or unapologetic statement, it just is what it is. For some reason, people don't like the words come and girl together, and that is one thing we'd like to push the envelope on because it's completely natural and normal. <clears throat> and the fact that it's provocative says way more about the people that are offended by the word come than it does about us. So maybe we just kind of reflect people's discomforts back to them until it, hopefully we just pass it back and forth until it's normalized. I mean, personally, I've seen come so much more on the internet. Maybe it's just the algorithm, but I've been seeing <laughs> the word. Not. I've been it's seeing the word not. come so much on the internet. I'm like, is this us? I feel responsible. Yeah, but I'm also like, maybe it's the algorithm. It might be the algorithm. <laughs> Listening to us and seeing, oh, you like come? I have some more of that for you. <laughs> but I'm also seeing it next to Disney Plus. Plus, plus, plus. plus. Because there were seven more before us. <laughs> we're the eighth incarnation of this come girl, so. We found come girl number one, which was a really big starting point. Ms. Cicciolina, she's an Italian politician and a porn star. And she did a lot of good work and I think we just, we're just picking up where she left off, hopefully. And the seven before us.
if it's provocative, that is on you. It's not on us. All we're doing is having a great time and feeling yeah, unlimited. We're, we're just expressing ourselves, and if that is something that makes you feel uncomfortable, then that's amazing. <laughs> If it's making you feel turned on, that's amazing. If you hate us, that's amazing. If you love us, that's amazing. If you feel really, really uncomfortable, like down to your skin, that's amazing. Yeah. Then we're doing our like, job. As long as, as long as you're not feeling, as long as you're not bored. Bored, yeah. Complacent. Yeah. yeah. If you're not not feeling anything, then that's a problem. <laughs>